Yikes, what's the hype? This is something light. Yikes, out of town on consistent flights. Yikes, work hard, just a different way. Get your life, you bitches ain't living right. Sister girl, sister girl, are you struggling to put your lashes on? I know, I have been dealing with this for years now, but I found a new technique that is going to surely save your life. I used to always apply my lashes, but they just wouldn't stick. And I always had a struggle with this. But I'm telling you now that the struggle is over and you no longer have to suffer. So if you want to see a new technique of how to apply your lashes the best and easiest way, make sure you stay tuned. You will be in shock. Today for this technique, I'm using lashes from GoofyLashes.com. These are the premium mink and these are also 3D. As you can see, it comes in a very nice packaging and it was a very fast shipping process. It only took three days to get to my house and the price is only $9.99 for this style. And I also have a 15% off discount code and these are in the style baller. I'm using their strip adhesive, which is $2.49 and I'm also taking my tweezers and I'm just going to wedge off my lash out of the box using these. As you can see, it has a lot of human hair like fibers. And as I mentioned, it is a 3D premium mink lash. So it will look very realistic whenever you apply it. And also it has a thin strip as well, so it's easier to apply onto your lids. Just a small tip, whenever you look at the lashes, how you hold them up is which lash it goes onto your eyelid. So now I am just taking the lash and I am going to put it onto my eyelid and basically measure out how much I'm gonna have to cut off that's one key essential thing to remember when you're applying lashes is sometimes you have to cut off the excess of the strip because the lash may be too large for you. And that's the reason why you may see a lot of people that wear lashes and they're hanging off is because they were not properly cut. So when you're cutting your lashes, you never really want to cut the inner corner. The only part of the inner corner that I cut off is just the excess part of the band that you clearly can see. Other than that, you want to stay away from it. You only want to cut the outer corner. And as I've mentioned, you want to measure your eyelid and see how much of it you want to cut off. So here I'm just placing it onto my eyelid without any adhesive. And I'm just seeing if it's actually going to fit. That way we apply our glue it will plop on perfectly. Normally you're gonna apply your lash glue onto your lashes, but nope, we're not doing that anymore. Instead, we are going to apply it directly to our eyelids. Yes, directly to our eyelids. We're gonna apply our lash glue as if it's eyeliner. If you need to go in with a couple coats, just as I did to make sure your lashes are gonna stick on very well, that's what I'm doing now is just applying another layer and also because I wasn't sure about this lash glue it was my first time using it so I just wanted to make sure that my eyelids were coated very well so now I'm just fanning my lashes and I do this for about 35 to 40 seconds now I'm gonna be taking my compact mirror and this is strictly your preference but what I do is I put it underneath of my eyes and I look down that way I'm able to see exactly where the lash line is in my lash meet. That way I'm able to have a seamless application. As you can see, I'm using my tweezers to just finick around the lashes and they are applied that easily. No longer do you have to struggle with the old standard way. You can just apply your lashes and keep it moving. Now we are gonna do the other eye 
And again, I'm showing you that you easily apply a coat of lash glue directly onto your eyelid over top of your eyeliner if you choose to wear any. And you're just applying it as if you were applying eyeliner. Again, I'm fanning my eyelid for about 35 to 40 seconds. Again, you can see here that I'm using my tweezers to apply my eyelash and I'm using my compact mirror, putting it underneath of my eye, looking down so I'm able to see where the lash line and the lash meets so I'm able to have a seamless application. And it's really just that easy. Like I'm literally just plopping the eyelash on and I'm going on about my business. As you can see here, I am just doing a lash pull test to make sure my lashes are not coming off. But I can assure you, honey, they are not going anywhere. Even if you went to Kings Island and rode on the fastest roller coaster, you will be good when you get off of that bad boy. So I hope you guys enjoy this technique. And let me know in the comments below if you try it out and if it works for you, which I'm sure it will. And if you guys have any other ideas, please let me know in the comments and make sure as always, you give this video a thumbs up, and if you have not by now, make sure you have subscribed to my channel. Until next time, love you guys. Get back. Bad bitch, link up, link up. I just pull up in a Brinks truck. Bad bitch, link up, link up.